what's good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a very important thing to discuss here on the channel that i think is going to change action figure collecting at least for the most part i think across the board man if you guys did not check it out we're going to get into all the details of course this took the internet by storm i want to say it was a week ago maybe a week ago today or maybe it was yesterday or something like that it's been about it's been about a week at least but it's some big news hitting the action figure community as a whole not just wwe but it's going to affect every single action figure collector for the most part at least i imagine i'll get into all the details of course but if you guys are marvel legends collectors if you're not a marvel legends collector you still need to watch the the whole video because i have some very important news for you and something that could change the landscape of your collection and how you collect action figures as a whole as well so definitely stay tuned to the end man very important stuff to discuss i'd love for everybody to sound off in the comment section below go ahead leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and dive into today's topic now if you are a collector of marvel legends if you collect Hasbro at all. You guys do know that they did a live stream last week and they revealed a bunch of new Spider-Man figures, a bunch of new stuff that we're going to be getting in the coming year and so it was, you know, some brand new Spider-Man reveals. I think it's the 60 year anniversary of Spider-Man and so they were rolling out all kinds of new products and great looking things. I have a ton of stuff on pre-order. I'm going to give, of course, my feedback on this whole situation, of course, and what it means for my collection, but I did pre-order a lot of the stuff that they put up the other day. I'm very excited for a lot of the stuff. It was epic. I thought it was a pretty cool live stream that we got there but if you have no idea what i'm talking about you're probably like mdt what the hell are you talking about this has nothing to do with wwe or aew figures or anything like that and while this may not be affecting you immediately right this second if you don't collect outside of the wwe aew action figure bubble i think that it will be happening to you and you're probably wondering what i'm talking about if i haven't discussed it already man it is going to be the switch from window shopping style packaging to completely plasticless completely cardboard packaging for our WWE and AEW action figures. Hasbro showed off a bunch of different examples of this where it's literally just a photo of said figure in the packaging. It's kind of shaped like classic Marvel Legends or regular Marvel Legends, but it does have some images of the figure. It's got some stuff all over it. There's no window to see inside the packaging, and this is huge news. Even if you're not a Marvel Legends collector or Hasbro collector, this is going to make its way into WWE action figures. It's just the way of the world. You know, if, if one company does something and a line does something, slowly other lines are going to be adopting that and I think that's what we're going to end up with, man. I, th I highly, highly doubt that they're going to completely avoid it. Now, we may still get some windows into our packaging, but I think that for the most part, this is going to make its way over to WWE figures, probably AEW figures as well, and that just makes the most sense, right? Now, I do have my quarrels, of course. I have my questions. I would love to know where they stand on it, if they're going to go completely cardboard, if there's going to be a smaller window, what their deal is there. We will have to wait and find out and see, but I think this is pretty dreadful. I think it's pretty dreadful, at least as far as an action figure collector is concerned. Of course, you have the environmental concerns. I'm all for things that help the environment. I'm all for things that, you know, bring us to, you know, anything that improves the quality of life for everybody in the world, I feel like that's a pretty good step towards that. So if that's what this means, which is apparently what it does mean, then, you know, I do understand it. But I think as far as an action figure scenario, it does suck. It's not very good. I'm going to go into some reasons why this sucks, and so uh, let's go ahead and dive into it, man. If you are a mint on card collector, this is obviously a huge concern for you because you can no longer see the figure. You're not going to be able to see the figure. You guys know that I used to never be a mock collector, but this year I have turned a new leaf. I began t collecting hardcore mint on card stuff, and so this uh, not a good timing for me. You know what I'm saying? I guess it is kind of good for me because I didn't fall, you know, I didn't fall too far down the rabbit hole, but at the same time, it does suck because. Because, uh, I mean, I would still probably get all the chases if they were to be in complete cardboard. But at the same time, I think that uh, this sucks for men on card collectors. You're not going to want to buy a box when you can't even see what you bought. I mean, there could be a rock in the box. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you have no idea what could be behind those cardboard box walls. You could go to Walmart or wherever and there could be a WWE figure hanging there in its full cardboard box style. And I'll probably do a whole video on this again once we see some WWE and AEW figures that do this, but this is strictly for the Marvel Legends right now, but I'm just going to use WWE as an example. Elite John Cena comes out. You go to the aisle. You see the beautiful box there. No window to see inside. It looks like it's sealed up. You buy it, and then you take it home, and you open it up, and it's a completely different figure. Maybe there's literally just paperweights in there or something to make it feel like there's a figure inside. I mean, there's so many different issues here, man. You're literally going to have to purchase a figure, go to the front. As soon as you scan and check out, you're going to have to open open the 
figure in the store to make sure that it's the same to, that it's right that it's not missing any you know build a figure pieces accessories championship titles all these different things reseal it and then take it home if you're a mint on card collector you don't you could go to the store and buy something and then 20 years down the road open it up or somebody purchases it from you and opens it up and it's not even the right damn figure in the in the packaging man so these are real concerns i think figure swapping could be a very big detriment to these to this style packaging and also you had this price increase uh for marvel legends for wwe elites for aew figures they're gonna slightly go up and i think there is even one more coming in this in, in, in by the end of the year by the end of the year we're probably gonna see another price increase there and so the lack of plastic you, you would think going strictly cardboard on the packaging you would have a lower dollar amount right save on your packaging and invest more in the figures or slightly lower the price of the figures that's not the case it seems as if it is going up when we are losing our plastic window for the packaging so i don't know what to stand there but not only is uh, figure swapping a big deal of course like we talked about men on card collectors there's no reason for you like what would be the point at that point i guess future investment or you know picking up something that you want to sell down the line i totally understand that but there's just lots of issues here man that, that i think these are pretty glaring issues as well i think that you're gonna lose a big part of your men on card collection or collectors out there that are buying these figures to display in the packaging a lot of them aren't gonna want to I, I don't i don't know a men on card collector that buys the thing and doesn't even get to see the figure you know it's it's very rare you know even your aew rings they have right here this cody you can see the cody you can still see the cody in the in the kenny omega you can still see it. the only figure we have from aew right now that doesn't have any plastic windows to see inside i think the ringside exclusive a little bit of the bubbly does have the plastic in it like it has the plastic uh little black deal for the champagne bottle but it doesn't have you know a, a clear window into the packaging and then you have the darby allen those are the only two that i can think of which look great they look fantastic but i think that's an exclusive it's online only you know you don't walk into a store and have to struggle with a figure swap ordering online for the most part will not be any different because you don't really know what you're ever getting but what about the people that go in the stores and find these figures right you go in the store you find the new elite john cena like we said and you can look at the paint apps and be like ah oh, my eyes are misaligned or oh he's got bleeding on the chest or his paint apps aren't all the way there's some deco that's literally chipped off right there i'm gonna avoid that one and i'm gonna buy the one that looks better in this new scenario you're not gonna know what the paint apps look like again if you're ordering online it will not matter but if you're there in the store it's going to matter a ton because you're gonna have to i, I guess what would you do at that point you'd have to what would you do you buy a couple of them see which one has the better paint apps and return the other one then it's not even sealed anymore are you gonna pass it back off as sealed product just a real sticky situation right there man so tons of different you can't see the figure and what the paint apps look like men on card collectors cannot see the figure whatsoever when they purchase it it could be any figure in there and then uh that goes hand in hand with figure swappers buying figure. you guys know it my walmart down here bro is so terrible with figure swaps i show them all the damn time somebody put a live morgan in a jonah jameson marvel legends box and they just returned it like it was nothing bro and the people at walmart i know they don't know any better for the most part right they're just customer service they're just doing their job whatever but they're really not gonna know if the box isn't open they're just gonna probably check in there okay there's a figure bam there it is i don't know man i really i, I don't know i don't like it i think it's kind of trash to be honest with you i don't know what this means for wwe figures going forward if i had to make a guess a, a, a educated guess on when this change might happen or when we'll see this i could see this at san diego comic-con 2022 or you know the reveals we're not gonna have an event yet next year we will have an event but this year we will not have an event it'll just be a live stream or reveals posted on wwe.com maybe we'll get some insight onto what the next step is for those for those boxes and the collections and stuff like that you know in a, in, a, in a perfect world maybe they don't switch over at all i don't see that taking place i definitely see them making the change and as far as my collection habits go uh it sucks that i won't be able to see the figure it's really going to I, so here and there i've been collecting mock figures you know uh, ultimate editions things like that certain things and that's going to definitely put me off there if i can't see the figure it's going to really bother me but if you're trying to complete that set you know for the one-offs and things like that i don't know if i would do it if you can't see inside the box i don't know i i don't know i guess we'll have to cross that bridge but as far as aew figures go they've kept this same style packaging for like 14 series now if you combine the unmatched and the unrivaled so i honestly don't think they would change that but i don't know wwe elites have been going for almost 100 series and we're we're getting to we're almost to a series 100 and they're gonna try and drop the freaking cardboard boxes on us how how sick is that
that. Hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll have some insight on that, but I don't know, man. Hopefully, it won't be as bad as we think it is, but what I'm seeing from Hasbro is not good stuff right now, man. It is not good stuff. How do you feel about that? I think that we are just asking for trouble with price increases. I mean, we're, we may be looking at a ton of collectors backing out, you know, because the figures are getting so expensive. You can't even see the figures. My collectors are definitely having a hard time out there, but, uh, you know, even if you can't see the paint apps, it's going to hurt the loose collectors as well, and they could end up with a figure they didn't even want. It could be a completely swap figure unless you legitimately open it right after you purchase it, and that may have to become a legitimate thing that action figure collectors across the board do when they buy these cardboard boxes with no windows. You're going to have to buy the figure, legitimately open it up, check it out, and then see if it is the figure, and if it's not, I guess you'll have to take it to customer service, say, look what's happened, yada, yada, yada. Maybe that will end up deterring those people from swapping. I don't know. I don't know what the next step is, man, but I wanted to get on here. I wanted to talk about all those things that were in my brain about the thing, and you guys can let me know down below if you guys agree with me. Are you on the same page as me? Are you off the road? What do you think? Is it going to hurt your collecting habits? Is it going to deter you from buying stuff? Did you pre-order the new stuff? What is the case? I I'd love to know down in the comment section below. Do you think WWE figures will follow? I absolutely think they will. And then you have basics and stuff like that. I just don't know, man. I, I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to say the least. We'll have to find out what comes of it. Hopefully, this will not be something that completely shakes the world, but it looks like it already has from everything I've seen. But thank you guys for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. Let me know your thoughts down below, man. I want to know what you think of this big change, but I'm, I'm getting out. I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it right now. I'll talk to you guys later. I think that uh, everybody crossed the line when they changed the packaging there. They're going to save a ton of plastic, no doubt about that, which is good, but at the same time, for the action figure collectors, man, the people that, you know, invest in these figures and stuff like that, it is going to be a headache, and so it's just something I guess we're going to have to adjust to, and that, that crosses the line. You cross the line.